Hello, my name is Bill with Advice PC Group, and I'm here to show you a piece of software for managing a password file that has been proven to work very well. Uh, maybe not as quite as easy as some of the ones that are available, but it is called KeyPass. So you can easily get to it by just typing in to a browser KeyPass download. Now normally what I do is I look at the location of the download. Uh, so I'll take the top one here. Now this is what I'm expecting. So this is what you should see as well. Now there really isn't much difference between the professional and the classic edition. Um, I would say go with the professional edition. Uh, you can pick either the installer for the PC or portable. I would recommend the installed version because you can get it for Android as well as for Apple, Windows, and I think that you can even get it for Linux. So I'm going to go ahead and download. Now you'll see as it goes through the process, this is all normal. As you can see, it's a fairly small file. It's only about two megabytes, so it should only take a minute for it to go ahead and uh, uh, download. I'm going to go ahead and click on it, which will start the installer. I'm going to go ahead and click yes on the security alarm. I'll bring this over, that way you can see it. I'm going to do English, of course. And then I'm going to accept the agreement. It's going to say where it's going to install it. I would recommend keeping it in the default. Now these things you can either uh, keep or not keep. Up to you. You have to install, of course, the top item. That's why it's grayed out. The other items you can go ahead and take off if you would prefer. But it is a small amount of uh, disk space that will be used. In this case, 7.2 megabytes is all. Now the KDBX is the new file. There's also what's called a KDB, which is the older version. And uh, if you cannot open a file, that is what it's going to be for. But I'm going to associate uh, the KDBX file to KeyPass. So that way all you have to do is double click on the file and it will open. I will also go ahead and make a desktop shortcut as well as a quick launch. Now at this point it's going to take about a minute and it'll be all done installing. And once it's installed I will bring it up and I will show you how to add different folders, how to add the uh, different uh, accounts, and basically what is contained within. Now, there is an option where it will automatically check for updates. I do recommend doing that. That way you can keep up to date. Just understand if you're using it on multiple machines, you're going to want to make sure that you uh, update all machines. Now, we are running ESET, so we have to allow it. And I'm going to go and click on New here. This actually is for a new database. By default, it'll put it in the uh, documents folder, which is fine. And I'm just going to leave it as new database. You can name it something for yourself, such as your last name, uh, maybe even what you're planning on using it for. And then it's going to ask for a master password. I will put one in there. Not really a strong one, but it will keep people out. Uh, you should try to be over 50 bits as a minimum. You can also use uh, your Windows user account. However, there is a risk involved with that. If your machine dies, you may not be able to get back into it. As far as I know, I do not know anyone that has been able to hack this uh, database. Uh, you can also use a key file and uh, there's some options that you have in there, but 
I recommend having a password that you know and utilize that. Now these are just your basic uh, settings. I suggest to leave all of these exactly the way they are. So that way uh, it'll run very well. Uh, let advanced users uh, change these settings. As you can see on the left hand side here we have different folders and of course you can change the icon and so forth on those. I'll show you how to do that. And so if you're on the left hand side here and you right click it's called a group. So I would say add a group and we're just going to call this a test password group. I'm not going to have it expire. I'm not going to put any special notes on it. I'm going to leave it all okay default. And as you can see here we now have underneath the new database a new folder. Now let's say you wanted to edit this. You see right here you have an icon. You can come in here and you can select any icon that you wish. Hit OK and it will change it. Now once you have your group set up here, some of the ones that I would recommend is uh, things like, did not want to hit edit, I wanted to hit add. Uh, one of the items that I would put in here, you know, could be um, a business name. Just in case you're running a home business or anything like that. Now, of course, I did wind up putting it underneath there. Um, it's probably not what I really wanted. But if I come up here and I do add group, and then this one is going to be uh, Johnny. So you can put it as an individual's name. Okay, and you can see where they are indented. So you can make a uh, group and you can nestle another item in the group. So you can do anything you want with that. Now when you when you have your group set up, one thing you may want to do is go in and add an actual entry. Now an entry is going to be tied to say, um, I'll just put Hotmail account. And of course you can change the actual icon right here to be anything that you want. And then we're just going to do test at hotmail.com because I'm not going to put everything in there. In here it has a very complex uh, password. You can uh, change it to be whatever that you want it to be and uh, the only thing is you have to make sure you have to turn that off and then you have to type it again. And it'll turn red when it's not matched and it will turn white when it is matched. You can put in your URL. You can use msn.com for this. You can put in here, you know, used for uh, spam email. So that way you can give it away to people all the time. They can spam it all you want. Do whatever that you want to do with it. Now I'm going to hit OK. So now it's in the Johnny. You can see how it's uh, circled here. But if let's say I would need that to be in the email, you can very easily cl left click and hold and you see that I've actually uh, moved it because it disappeared there. Now when I go to email, it is there. Now if you want to go ahead and copy the actual username, if you double click on the username down here at the bottom, it'll keep it for 12 seconds and then it'll delete it out of your uh, memory or your what they call clipboard. You can do the same thing with the password and then of course you can go paste it into the browser. If you go ahead and click on the URL it'll take you to the URL. Now of course down here you can see what group it's in, the title, the, e the username, the password which has got all stars, the URL, any other information you know that is in there but at the very end it's going to tell you when it was created. So now, you know, you could go ahead and make another one, you know, and you can call it uh, Yahoo Email, and we can do um, test at yahoo.com, 
We'll leave the password the same, and it'll be www.yahoo.com, and this can be main email. You hit OK. You now have it in there. This is the basic way of actually handling all of this. Now, once you've been in the database, uh, you'll see the little um, uh, save icon up here. Now, it is in blue. I don't know if you can see it very well in the video, but it is in blue. And so when I click on it, it'll save it to the database because it does not save automatically. And now it's grayed out. Now you can also use this to add an entry. An entry is on the right side. A group is on the left side. Now once you have stuff highlighted here, you can look at this and it'll say open URL. You can copy the URL. Uh, this I wouldn't mess with, uh, but you can actually search all of these items and you can show all the entries so when you hover over them they will tell you what they are and of course this is your username and this is the password it is the same as if you double click on the username or double click on the password I hope this video will be helpful and look forward to putting out uh, several other videos for you I uh, hope you guys have a great day.